closet because I'm over it. I'm over it. You have to excuse my hair, girl. Y'all, I'm over YouTube in the sense of I miss the old YouTube. I really do. I've been on YouTube for seven years, making videos for about five and a half. Um, the only reason why I'm ranting about this is I've just noticed that things have changed and it's it's escalating. I thought it was going to get better. I thought we were going to leave all the foolery behind in 2017. It is not to say that nothing has come nothing new has has happened it's just that nothing has changed either you see what i'm saying so some of the ways or one of the ways that i get inspiration for my hair videos is that i use the search bar and i type in you know what i'm looking for natural hair or whatever and some of the stuff i'm seeing i'm just like i, I just don't get it and um, to be quite honest it's not just natural hair I'm over everything. The gossip ones. It's just that the cooking videos, girl, especially the cooking one, the mukbangs. It's just that things have changed. YouTube is not what it used to be. And I know y'all y'all have noticed it. And we've been notice, noticing it for a while. But at this point, I'm just getting real tired of it. I'm just getting tired of it. It's gimmicky. It's oversaturated with content. I'm tired of searching for 4A, for 4B. For and I'm getting Tori Kelly. Or I'm getting someone who's clearly... Clearly you 3C, 4A, you claiming 4C? One of the reasons why I don't even like to do the hair typing. I don't, I just say I'm four type, one of them, one of the three. But I don't even mind the sponsorships that I'm okay, I'm okay with. I'm just finding that a lot of these YouTubers are just very gimmicky. I don't fault the new ones because I think that with YouTube, um, new guidelines when it comes to monetization, some of the newer people are not going to be as inspired to make videos or the ones who don't really care. Those are the ones you want to look out for, but, it, and, but I'm not talking about the Sherry J's or the natural 85s. Um, and even some of them have changed. And again, it's not all hair. There's some cooking, cooking YouTubers. They've changed. I just miss the way YouTube used to be. I miss my African export. She kept it real. I miss Leo body, natural chica. She lives in Mexico now. I miss people like that who were authentic, who did a product review and I, I believed everything they said. <laughs> so I went out and bought it the next day. But I don't know y'all. When I do certain things in my videos, I try to give credit where credit is due. And it's not to say, I mean, look, there's thousands of people on this earth. It's going to be a chance that two people are going to do the same damn deep conditioner, have the same recipe. But when it's blatant that you are doing the same thing, like I'm seeing stuff like people who are mimicking intros from other YouTubers, like down to the music. You know, I guess nighttime routines are popular. Go I just go to bed. I uh, make sure my hair is, is moisturized and I go to bed. Trend. But one type of video that is kind of getting on my damn nerves. Watch me perm my hair after seven years of being natural. You have to know. Some A part of me is um, interested and intrigued by those type of videos. And another side of me is like you have to know that there is a whole group of helpers just waiting on those videos. And to come and say some shit to you. You, you got to know that sis. So it's your channel. You can do whatever you want. But I'm seeing a lot of those videos coming up like quite a bit and there's nothing wrong i've mentioned this before there's nothing wrong with perming your hair after however long but be mindful of when you post that type of stuff on the internet i try not to be that type of youtuber i really do i try to be as authentic as possible um again like i said if i am doing a recipe that's very similar to someone i ensure and i make sure i name drop you guys have heard me name drop natural uh, Nappy had a whole but excuse me, Kim A Tube and the Green Beauty channel was a big one for me. So, but some of these people are like, oh, look at what I did. And I'm like, uh, I just saw this the other day, girl. And I know you saw it do because I saw you comment on their video. <laughs> Ooh, dirty helpful. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the old YouTube. I miss the way it used to be. I don't think that when it comes to hair, natural hair, I don't think the natural hair community is what it used to be five, six years ago. It's just not. Anyway, y'all, what do y'all think? Y'all agree with me? Do you think that I should just shut up and go pop a Xanax? I, I may do that too, but <laughs> all right, y'all. But no, this was on my mind. It was on my heart. It was in my spirit. So I want to put this out there. Y'all take care. Bye.